Yo, what up guys, one more day here, Shanghai. Now it's four o'clock, 58 in the morning. So the sunset should, soon sunrise should start. I guess in five minutes, my friend Alex, he just like say, hey, let's go to see the sunrise in the best spot in Shanghai. I say, all right, man, let's go there, check that. So we are going there right now. It's pretty early and I want to try my new candle that I bought yesterday. Uh, just to have some fun yesterday last night, but like just trying something. But outside is the first time that I'm going in, and yeah, let's try the Canon today. Basically, the video will be about the review about this beautiful camera, the so the Canon e, uh, Canon R, not the RP, the R, the the mo most high one uh, standard. And uh, I'll be shooting with the 35 mil 1.8 macro lens. So yeah, let's start the day from here. Let's ch let's check how I will enjoy this camera just made it here unfortunately there's not so many lights normally they say winter time is better now it's almost summer May 11th, so that is not so much lights, but anyway, we made it here. We are here, probably go outside, take some photos. My friend Alex is over there, and yeah, that's a pity. But anyway, let's keep moving, let's go somewhere else and maybe enjoy a coffee. But I'm always happy to wake up at this time and then enjoy this light and stuff. But yeah, let's keep moving. Not sun, not sunrise anyway, but like, I'm happy that I made it. I already made a few shots here with this camera, so I'm here with the Canon. It's pretty good, you know, like I will show the results later when I develop and everything. So what I'm just trying now is the focus, focusing point, like the F is everything is okay. Most of the time I'm shooting here at ISO 400, like pretty standard one. Uh, with the screen, I'm pretty happy with the results. I just need to put in the computer and check later how it looks like, but for a 35 mil like macro lens that's like what I'm missing a lot and I think I enjoy because you get pretty close to the object so you can get like some product shots you can do like some like face shot you can do like so many options that it's pretty interesting you know and I'm pretty happy to do that my friend Alex probably is coming back as well so we're to make some photos here and yeah uh, let me see the focus I'm, st I'm struggling a lot at the beginning because it's my first day to use that but I think after, I don't know, a few, few months or a few years shooting with this new focus system, how we start to understand that. But yeah, that's the bunt side, the sun rises over there. We made a lot of photos, now it's only six o'clock in the morning. So let's keep moving and let's see what we can capture here today. So I'm back here again, I come to the Long, Longhua Temple. The reason that I made it here was last weekend I was here and uh, I pretty like the temple and the vibe and stuff. As I bought this camera now, the Tian one, I say I, I want to go to a place that I can shoot some like Chinese traditional stuff and then they say, all right, why not go there? So I came here, I'm with my friend Alex there, he just takes some photos and we are trying to explore this place. I think this is one of the best place uh, the temples here in Shanghai, they call Longhua Temple. If you guys want to check something cool, just come to this place because definitely deserve to visit. I think it's well preserved, uh, good colors and good vibe. And people who come here really for a religious purpose. So amazing guys. So just check this Longhua Temple here in Shanghai and then it's awesome. Pretty hyped with this camera, you know, like there is one function here on the side that I can change my ISO just like sliding the finger that's something pretty cool you know like the iso is pretty easy to change the for f is always like pretty it's like pretty well designed with ergonomics that i want to say you know like uh, i think i made a good decision i didn't buy one i didn't rent one before to to try just bought it directly and i'm really like happy with the results just want to go back to my computer and check the photos there to see the quality but so far this camera is making me the things that i need to do you know so finally, we made it here to this Martyrs Park. I was here last weekend with Shabo. I come back again, now it's eight o'clock in the morning. We start our session at four. So four, four o'clock I wake up actually. So five, six, seven, eight. So we are already almost 
uh, four hours shooting and uh, yeah the time was great just try some different composition different shots different videos different angles that's what I was trying I hope I get a good shot uh, now I just need the computer and check everything but the camera so far is really good I have some concerns like uh, to change from video mode to to photo mode so that was a bit annoying but I got to read pretty well used pretty fast you know but anyway uh, we will move probably get breakfast and yeah very great camera let's track the results later but you guys try so the the camera was tested out card is full I just used the 30 GB 32 GB card to shoot today in the morning I, I got 32 GB uh, full size of photos and videos and stuff Pretty good, I'm pretty happy with the camera. I think uh, for the things that I want to do, it's like perfect, you know, like, I'm pretty happy. I just want to go back home now, check all the photos and see the end results, if it will make me satisfied or not. But anyway, the experience to shoot with this Canon EOR is just like something I, I prefer actually. I don't know, it's hard to say, I like Sony, but this one is like, I'm pretty happy with the results. And what I like about Canon is that all the lenses are perf perfect, you know, and the price normally never appreciate. Sony depreciate a little bit, but Canon is like always pretty stable. It's not for the body, but like, I mean, for the for the lens, you know. So I just got the 35 simple one just to try get used to that if I would like or not. Probably my new acquisition will be the 85, but if you just consider the price of the 85 is almost the same price as the body. As, as I'm, I like photography and I know that the lens are much more important than the body. The body is just like kind of a sensor, plastic sensor or whatever, but the lens that gives the, the feeling of the photo. So when you see a good photo, probably we'll shoot it with a good lens. Not always, but the lens gives them, is the most important thing. <laughs> lens are always the brain of the camera. I know sensor is important, but like just consider the lens as the most important thing. That's why sometimes the lens are like the same price as the the camera or even more expensive. But anyway, I'm back here on Remini Square right now, going back home, sit down on my computer and try to check all the photos. And now it's only nine o'clock in the morning. We start the day at 4.30, 4.30, like pretty early. And now only nine o'clock and we did so many things. I'm sure when I go back home, my wife will be sleeping. But yeah, awesome. Let's go back and then see the end results of this camera. So yeah guys, today I tried the whole day, the Sony, the Canon, I checked the photos and computer and I was pretty happy when I see the results. The video quality is also pretty good, it's very stable, there is no shaking at all, so <clears throat> when I make videos, like, it's pretty smooth, you know. Uh, I used to have the Sony before, it's also very good, but this camera, inside of lens they have stabilization, so I think that's the future, you know, like, you don't need to, may, of course, it's important to have the stabilization inside of the body, but I'm also pretty happy that Canon has inside of the lens, like Lumix also has. Some other brands also have the same situation. And uh, the photos, the low light, I was just trying tonight, that's my first day shooting at night. You can go up to 6400 ISO and you can shoot the speed 125 and it's still pretty stead. So if you shoot like, I don't know, 60 uh, per second also you can get some good shots. Like sometimes we'll be out of focus, it depends on how, how you're holding the camera. In my case, I'm shooting with 35 millimeter lens, so that won't be a problem. But of course, if you shoot with 85 millimeter lens or 7200, then maybe you need a faster speed. But with the 35 that I bought, bought 1.8, it's a really, really, really good camera. And what I like most of this camera and lens together is that the 35 mm is, is like macro lens, so you can get pretty close to the object. It's like you can almost focus in the people's nose, you know, different than the other lens that. Uh, you cannot go that 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 close but anyway uh camera good pretty impressed with that i will keep shooting every day today i just shoot two cards like of 32 gb one during the morning amazing results and now one at night and i also pretty like i was trying like take some photos of my wife and see like different lights perspective bulk and stuff this kind of like basic stuff that you most try for the first time unbelievable good amazing camera and yeah i hope you guys like that at the end of this video i will put like some like some uh, photos that you can see the results and that's what you can get with this amazing canon camera let's keep shooting let's see if i can get more amazing photos and yeah hope you guys like the video today i will finish that soon from shanghai peace and love and boom